I just got three things to say. God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, start your engine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go from Dover. Jeff Hinkle, David Gorman at the front row, DJ the Iceman Kenner, and the Mark Nelson on the second row. Vern Spring, Aaron Mason at the third row, Rick Sergeant, Arlie Barletta on the fourth. Mark the Man Dantuma and Brandon Springer round out your top ten. Gerald Thanos Pool starts in 11th next to Donald Double D Durant in 12th. Graham Nucky rounding out the 13 car field. Graham Nucky has not taken to the grid, does not look like he will be taken to the grid. Kind of saddening. I was looking forward to seeing Graham back out on track. Hopefully he will start from pit road, be able to fight his way back up through the field. Drivers coming down the back straight away. Jeff Hinkle and David Gorman lead them around. Pace car is in. Out of turn four. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. They are down in a way at Dover. And Gorman just launches it into turn one. Gorman got one heck of a start up on the high side and jumps out front. Hinkle in second. The Mark Nelson in third, but Aaron Mason after that great race last week coming by the Iceman up top. And Kevin, that's kind of what it sounds like when he says his name. Garmin still out front for the moment. Vern Spring on the attack, trying to get under Aaron. Here comes Harley Barletta. DJ Kenner lurking, lurking underneath Mark Nelson, not pushing the, whoa, I was going to say not pushing the issue, but he almost pushed Mark through the turn. Several drivers, including Mark Nelson, feared the Iceman here tonight. You can see why. Jeff Hinkle in second has the fastest lap so far as he reels in the leader, Gormy. Mark Nelson holds on to third, the Iceman in fourth, Mason in fifth, Harley Borletta now to sixth. Brandon Springer now in seven. Mark Dantuma, last week's winner, up to eight. Mark in a Toyota this week. Rick Surgeon currently in ninth. Gerald Thanos pull. Oh, Thanos is loose. Caution. Vern Spring, Gerald Poole involved in the first caution of the night, lap six. Thanos has towed it in.
Definitely a wild start to that one. Let's take a look at that incident. We talked about it in practice. These cars getting loose out of two. Gerald just spins around. There's Gerald coming through one and two. Out of turn two, the back end steps out. He comes up, collects Vern. Vern got a pretty good lick into the inside wall and towed it into Pib Road. Did look like Vern may have also got the barrels on the way into Pib Road. Jason, this kind of track, Hinkle is always tough. We knew the drivers would struggle, especially early on with the uh, car being loose out of turn two. Saw almost everybody have a problem with it in practice. David Garman still has the lead. Jeff Hinkle in second. Mark Nelson in third. DJ Kenner in fourth. Harley Barletta has made his way up to fifth. Aaron Mason holds on to sixth. Brandon Springer in seventh. Mark Dan Tuma in eighth. Rick Surgeon in ninth. Donald Durant in tenth. Gerald Poole is out early. Vern Spring has fixed the car and is back out on track. But he'll have to hope for a quickie caution to get him back to the lead lap. Although Vern will have the advantage of four fresh tires, might be able to fight his way back forward. Lights are out on the pace car. As they get ready to go back green flag racing. The Monster Mile already claiming its first victim in Gerald Poole. Pace car is in. Garmy got one heck of a launch last time. He chose the high line. He is in control. Green flag back in the air. Garmin perfect launch again. Caught the rest of the field napping. Out of turn two, so far, everybody makes it through this time. Garmin on the high side has Hinkle closing in. Hinkle said last season he is known for his conserving the tires, conserving the car, but he was working on turning up the aggression Said he lost a few races last season and in previous seasons by being a little too conservative. He has cranked it up and it has shown. Harley Barletta losing a little ground as Dan Tuma is on the march. Mark Dan Tuma now up to fifth place. Mark did say during pre-race, he is no good at this track. Yeah, I don't believe him. Garmin just set the fastest lap of the race so far, 24.28. But Jeff Hinkle and DJ Kenner, 
right there with them. Mark Dantum in the fourth as they are something happened to Barletta. See if we can see what happened with Harley there in that blue car. Off into turn three, closing the gap on Mark Nelson. Oh, looks like he tried to make a move on the high side. Gets the wall and lost a lot of ground. Harley has gone to pit road. It looks like there might have been some damage on the right side. Harley Barletta is back off of Pitt Road. Brandon Springer is in. That is unexpected. Did he get some contact in that incident? Harley back off and back on track a couple laps down. This track, you definitely need your arrow to be dead on. One little kiss to the wall could have a huge, huge impact. Brandon Springer got his repairs. Looks like Springer may be doing manual repairs as well as a tire change. He is still on pit road for the moment. Donald Durant's now up four spots. He is up to eight. Double D on the attack here tonight. Vern Spring after that early incident with Gerald Poole currently runs in ninth. Just one lap down trying to make his way back forward. If he can hold on at the comp caution, he will be waved around is currently in the lucky dog position. David Hampshire cheering on Mark Dan Tuma and Donald Double D Durant. And I did remember. Springer back off of Pitt Road coming up to speed. Durant's trying to run down Rick Sergeant just ahead. Mark Dantuma now up into fourth place. Remember, folks, he did say before the race he was not good here. Probably said it before Iowa last week, too, but he won that. DJ Kenner has moved into second, and the Iceman is closing the gap on the leader. Jeff Hinkle about 1.4 seconds back in third. Garmin has led every lap so far. Don't know how much longer he is going to be up. Hey, good evening, Kyle. DJ continuing to chip away little by little at Garmin's lead, but DJ is one of the most patient drivers out there. He will just wear you out. But the same could be said of Jeff Hinkle back in third. Mark Dan Tuma in fourth is actually closing in little by little on Jeff Hinkle. 
the track temperature has gone up just a hair. It's up three degrees. Remember, we talked about it earlier. The track temperature here and the tire temps are more have more of an impact than actual tire wear does. <laughs> hey, good evening, Kevin. And the Iceman is underneath Garmy for the lead. Garmin can't hold him off, mainly because Garmin's driving a Ford, and the Iceman cometh to the front. Garmin in second, you see, right behind Harley Barletta is trying to get around the leader to get one of his laps back. DJ's not going to fight it. Harley goes by on the bottom. Garmin still within striking distance in second. Jeff Hinkle has reeled him back in, but so has fourth place Mark Dantuma. The Mark Nelson back in fifth, 3.8 seconds back. Aaron Mason still holds on to sixth at the moment. So far, another great run for Aaron. Rick Surgent back in eighth. Donald Double D Durant in ninth. Vern Spring in tenth. Vern just waiting for that comp caution to get back to the lead lap. Now, comp caution, as we mentioned, lap 43. The driver said 60 to 70 laps on a tank of fuel. Likely a few of the drivers will be able to go beyond that 70 mark, but nobody can go far enough to make it from the competition caution. Garmin, a little bobble out of turn two. Not the first person we have seen have problems out of two. Is allowing Inkle and Dan Tuma to close in. Dan Tuma has run from one and a half seconds back to catch up to Hinkle. The top four all within a second of each other, and I think Hinkle kissed the wall. Minor damage, just a scrape, but it was enough. Loss of momentum for Dan Tuma to fly by into third. Kyle, yep, I think Aaron's doing great. Last week's finish has definitely helped. DJ Kenner still out front. Dan Tuma seems to be running them down, though. Dan Tuma now to the back bumper on Garmy. Garmin on the bottom. Mark goes to the high side. Whoa, Garmin pushes up mid-corner. As Dan Tuma worked down a hair. Got a little bit close there, but looks like Dan Tuma will clear. Mark now to second. But this battle has allowed DJ to pull out about a six tenths of a second gap.
Donald Durant's currently in eighth as the last car on the lead lap. And something I think is wrong with Double D's car. Looking to see if it has some right side damage as the last couple of laps he has fallen off dramatically. Hopefully he'll be able to hold on to that lead lap for four more laps around. Meanwhile, the Iceman continues to lead, but now has Dan Tuma there. Back behind Gorman and Hinkle, third and fourth. Mark Nelson, who we mentioned, was three and a half seconds back just a little bit ago has now closed within one and a half seconds of Hinkle and Garmin. Mark Dantuma is looking low. They go all through one and two. Dantuma's got the momentum. They come out of two. Mark Dantuma has the lead. The Iceman, though, still looking. Does he have enough to take it back? David Garman, Jeff Hinkle closing in, as has Mark Nelson. Mark Dantuma through turns three and four. We'll see the comp caution any moment now. Dantuma started in ninth, takes the lead. Competition caution is out. Definitely an exciting start to this one. DJ Kenner in second, David Gorman in third. All the drivers will hit pit road for four tires and fuel. Once pit stops are complete, we'll talk to a driver we haven't talked to in quite a while. David Gorman back on track tonight. Rumor has it Gormy has uh, also got American Truck Sim set up. Might actually see him out uh, causing some chaos with the Unicorn here soon. Everybody rolls down pit road. One of the slowest pit roads out there. Pit road speed at Dover, 35 miles an hour. Which is really, really uh, difficult, especially when you come in under green flag conditions. Jeff Finkel, David Gorman up front, but Mark T Dantuma leads them off. DJ Kenner out in second, Inkle in third. Mark Nelson in fourth, Garmy in fifth. Let's see if we can get a word with Garmy. Hey, Garmy, it's Doug. You got me? What up, Doug? Man, great to see you back in a, a pretty good run so far. Yeah, no, I took some vacation for a couple of weeks, so that's why I was gone for a while, plus I was maybe running some late model stuff, but I felt like running this tonight, and yeah, well, yeah, good run. It's super loose. I would think that's the uh, kind of thing you would like with your dirt experience. To an extent, I don't mind it, but this is just too much. They need to tighten the right rear just a little bit. Like, 
just a little bit would be better, but... <laughs> Well, man, it doesn't seem to be phasing you much. I've only seen you bobble once, and you led, uh, so far you've led the most laps. So, a great run so far tonight. Can you get back to the front? That's the plan. Well, buddy, good luck. It's always good to see you back out on track. Hopefully, next time you won't be in a Ford. No, nah, that's not going to change. <laughs> good luck. See you, bud. Well, I tried to convince Garmy to get out of that Ford, but he just doesn't listen. Donald Durant is back on the lead, or stayed on the lead lap. Vern Spring is back on the lead lap. Brandon Springer may be coming into pit road this time. Looked like he was trying to stay out to get a lap back. So Springer now hits that 35 mile an hour pit road. It is definitely a weird sensation doing green flag stops here, going from 150 miles an hour down to 35, and you can just barely see the cars going by you on the high side out on the track. Man, it is a little bit heartbreaking. We haven't got a chance yet, and if this thing stays green, we won't get another chance tonight. So what do you say we go full on crank it up on the restart? I'll stop talking. You guys crank up your volume and listen to all the horsepower. Mark Dantuma choosing the outside line for the restart. Pace car is in. Get ready, folks. Here we go. Out of four, green flag in the air. Crank it up, everybody. Oh, wait a minute. Caution. Caution is back out. Jeff Hinkle, the Iceman, Harley, all caught up on the restart. Let's see what happened. Likely somebody spun the tires. Here they come. And oh, the Iceman on power just shoots up. Jeff Hinkle, Harley Barletta, nowhere to go. See if we can look down from the blimp. DJ gets on the power, may have been in the wrong gear. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes, Kevin, it be like that. A bit surprising to see that from the Iceman. It is very, very rare you see a mistake out of him. He and Jeff Hinkle both in. Trying to get a look at the left side on Mark Nelson. Looks like he is okay. Look like he might have gotten some damage. Rick Surgent now up into third. Garmin in fourth. Aaron Mason back in the top five. Jeff Hinkle, DJ Kenner on their way back out.
Mark Dantuma still has the lead. Mark Nelson in second. Uh, yeah, Kevin Gerard, uh, you might want to get ready to pull the earbuds out. We're going to try cranking it up again. <laughs> Cold tires definitely was an issue there, and it looked like the Iceman may have grabbed the wrong gear. Harley Barletta did not get the wave around on this due to the fact that he was involved in the incident. Bit of a heartbreak for him. He just stopped to avoid it. Mark Dantuma getting ready for the green. They're still single file. Not sure if we're going to see a single file restart on this one. Looks like trying to get everybody sorted out from that incident. And they will stack up side by side for the restart. Lights are out on the pace car. And we're going to try that crank it up one more time. Pace car leading them down the back straightaway to the pace car will pull off in turn three. Dan Tuma choosing the high line for the restart. And the restart, ha nope, there it goes, pace car is in. And here we go, out of four, green flag back in the air. Crank it up, everybody. to green flag racing. Mark the man, Dan Tuma, still out front. David Garman in second. Rick Surgent in third. And what could be better than some cranking up time? That is just too much fun. Rick Surgent now up four spots into third. A great run so far for him, but Jeff Finkel right on the bumper. DJ Kenner also starting to work his way forward. After that incident, trying to find his way around Vern Spring and Aaron Mason.
Garmin in second. Now a gap back to third as Dan Tuma and Garmin have pulled a one second gap. Jeff Hinkle, Mark Nelson right there together. Harley Barletta currently in 10th, scored a lap down at the moment, but is flying around this track trying to get himself back to the lead lap. Jeff Finkel now has Mark Nelson closing in. Aaron Mason not far behind. Vern Spring, the Iceman, and Donald Durant closing in as well. DJ now looks underneath Vern Spring off into the turn. Vern fights back on the high side out of two. DJ looks back underneath. Aaron Mason right there. DJ can't get the run out of the turn. And now the Iceman looking underneath Aaron. DJ already back up into six. Sets his sights on fifth place. Mark Nelson as Garmy just set the fastest lap of the night. Garm Garmin just six tenths of a second behind Dan Tuma trying to close back up. Rick Surgent currently in third place, about two seconds back, but he has a one and a half second gap on Hinkle at the moment. Mark Nelson in fifth, the Iceman in sixth, Aaron Mason, Vern Spring, and Durant all right there. Whatever was wrong with Donald Durant's car at the end of that first run, he seems to have gotten it fixed. DJ already looking underneath the Mark Nelson. DJ fought his way up into the lead earlier on in the race. Then after that incident on the restart, he is having to do it all over again. And David Gorman has taken the lead from Mark Dantuma. Gorman takes the lead on lap 66 and starts to pull a gap already on Dan Tuma. Rick Surgent still over two and a half seconds back in third. Rick, however, in trouble. Jeff Hinkle is on the way. Hey, good evening to Navy Joe Coffee Company. Always appreciate them stopping by and really appreciate, appreciate them helping wake me up every morning. Unfortunately, Gerald Poole in the Navy Joe Coffee Car problems early was out early. Aaron Mason back in seventh, staying right there with DJ and Mark Nelson. Great run so far. After taking the lead, Garmin has had pulled out 
to about a half second, but Dan Tuma is close right back up, not pushing the issue right now. They still have a big gap on now third place. Jeff Hinkle he is 3.8, 3.9 seconds back. Rick Sergeant in fourth. The Mark Nelson in fifth. And the Iceman is still lurking. Aaron Mason back in seventh as a great view of the action right now. Let's see if we can ride along on using his nose cam. Right on the nose of the car as they come out of three and four. You'll see the cars ahead split. There's three lines. Drivers usually run here. Out of turn two, down the back straightaway, stomps the gas all the way down, sends it off into turn three, and closes the gap in a big way on the Iceman. Back across the start finish line, he did that lap in 25.19 seconds. And you can definitely tell drivers using different lines through the turns. Meanwhile, Mark Dantuma has reclaimed the lead from Garmy and pulled a gap. Welcome back, Jason. Mark now has a one and a quarter second gap on Garmin at the moment. Was there an issue? Let's take a look. There you see Dan Tuma out of two. It looked like, oh, Garmin may have gotten the wall. Looked like he was a little loose. He did say it was loose and hard to handle. And Mark Dantuma reclaims the lead. As Double D has gone to pit road for his final stop. Right at 50 laps to go. Everybody can go the distance from here. Dan Tuma, who said during the pre-race, he is not good at this track, now is a 1.4 second lead. Jeff Hinkle back in third, closing the gap on Garmin. But it's a big gap at the moment, 3.8 seconds. Mark Nelson back in fourth as his hands full with the Iceman in fifth. Rick Surgeon back in sixth as his hands full. Aaron Mason looks underneath. Down through one and two, Aaron on the bottom. That high line gets a better run on exit. Rick able to hold on to sixth for the moment. Mark Dantuma continuing to extend his lead.
Garmin still holds on to second, still four and a quarter seconds ahead of Jeff Hinkle. Mark Nelson, DJ Kenner right behind. DJ has stopped looking for the pass, at least for the, nope, I spoke too soon. It looked like DJ was content to ride for a few laps. I think that contentment is gone. Jason, I am definitely not a fan of those things. Although it would make life easier to have one. Mark Dantuma continues to extend his lead even further. Now 1.9 seconds over Garmy. Remember, most of the field still has to make one more pit stop. Donald Durant has already completed his final stop. Uh, yeah, Kevin, uh, I <laughs> ours aren't inside, but if they were, that would be exactly what happened. Mark and DJ have caught up to Jeff Hinkle. Mark Nelson sets it up into turn one underneath Jeff Hinkle, but again, that outside line has the advantage on corner exit. Mark gets a decent run out of the turn, looks into turn three, but Hinkle starts pulling the nose out. This is one of those tracks that it can take several laps to complete the pass, but it doesn't look like Mark may not pull it off this time. Jeff still can't clear on the high side. Mark a little deeper into one and two. The Iceman lurking right behind, waiting for an opportunity. Time by side out of four. Oh, Mark, a little bobble, but he had the nose ahead. Jeff getting as close to the wall as possible. Oh, whoa! Hinkle just sent it deep into three, made it stick, and clears. Jeff Hinkle, for the moment, holds on to third. In the meantime, Gorman continues to le lose Ground to the leader, Mark Dantuma. DJ Kenner now looks underneath Mark Nelson. And the fresh tires of Donald Durant are closing in very quickly. Harley Barletta still back there in ninth, Vern Spring in eighth. Rick Sergeant in seventh, Aaron Mason in sixth. The Iceman unable to complete the pass on Mark Nelson.
Most of the field still has to make that final stop. When will they come in? Everybody was last on pit road, lap 44. The driver said 60 to 70 laps. Some of these drivers may be able to stretch to 15 laps to go. DJ Kenner has finally gotten past Mark Nelson up into fourth. While they were battling, Aaron Mason gained a little ground back behind in sixth. Rick Surgeon back in seventh, Vern in eighth, Harley in ninth. And again, Durant's on those fresh tires, having made his final stop, has been working his way back through the field. Durant goes to the high side on the Iceman. DJ was looking underneath Hinkle. Harley Barletta is coming in for his final stop. Dan Tuma's lead now two and a quarter seconds over Garmin. Jeff Hinkle in third was the fastest car on track last time. Donald Durant gets the run on those fresh tires. Remember, he is not on the lead lap. But that opened the door for DJ. DJ looked but couldn't get through. Mark Nelson still there within striking distance of DJ and Jeff. Aaron Mason is on pit road for his final stop. Garmin almost two and a half seconds behind Mark Dantuma. Now that the cars behind are starting to hit pit road, it won't be long before the leaders come in. Vern Spring now on pit road. Harley Barletta goes by the leader, gets one of his laps back. Uh, hopefully it works, Kyle. Whoa, Rick Sergeant loose and a four. Mark Nelson looks underneath Hinkle again. The Iceman has made his way up to third. Dead even, these two have gone at it numerous times. And it is allowing the Iceman to pull away as he continues to reel in David Gorman. DJ just 2.7 seconds back. Nelson looks underneath Hinkle once again.
Mark Dantuma's lead now almost four seconds over Gorman. But again, with so many cars out here on fresh tires, Dan Tuma cannot afford to stay out too much longer. Aaron Mason on fresh tires shoots by Mark Nelson. Will shoot by Jeff Finkel, likely through the turn. David Garman still holds on to second, but DJ Kenner is reeling him in extremely fast. He is now less than a second behind Garmy. We said at the top of the race that DJ is tough to beat at Dover. He is showing why. Brandon Springer now in his pit stall. Four tires and fuel. He's on his way back out. Rick Surgeon has had a problem behind. He is out of the racing groove. There will not be a caution. And he has made it to pit road. Let's see what happened. Looks like Rick was trying to get down to pit road and overshot the entry. That is heartbreaking and so easy to do here at Dover. And a guy who was having a great run just had a big, big setback. Mark Dantuma came into tonight Third in points, one point behind Gerald Poole. Gerald out early. Dan Tuma will move up into second. And will close the gap on points leader Mark Nelson. If he can pull off the win here tonight. DJ Kenner now looking for a move on Garmin. Off into three and four. The Iceman gets the nose in. And DJ the Iceman Kenner Looks like he is going to take second place. Garmin gets a little momentum on the backstretch. It's not enough. DJ now to second. Four and a half seconds behind Antuma. Fifteen laps to go. The top five cars have still not pitted. Did they conserve fuel? Can they finish without stopping? That would be quite a stretch on fuel, but this is a track where you are out of the throttle quite a bit. Let's ride along with our leader. 
down the front straight away toward turn one. Feathering the throttle through one and two. Late and slow back on the power. He is definitely conserving some fuel here. But can he conserve enough, especially with DJ Kenner closing in? Aaron Mason just went by the leader trying to get his laps back. Aaron up to six now, double D up to seven. Donald Durant's the second biggest mover of the night despite problems early on. Up five spots into seventh. Biggest mover of the night right now though. Mark Dantuma started in ninth leading the race. Rick Surgeon goes by to get one of his laps back. A heartbreak for Rick. After that incident, he went from running just outside the top five back to 10th. He is 13 seconds behind Vern Spring. 21 seconds behind Donald Durant. With nine laps to go, don't know if he'll be able to gain enough ground to pick up a spot. And it looks like Dan Tuma, Kenner, Garman, Nelson, and Inkle are going to try and go the distance. Will we see any drivers run out on the final lap? Don't forget, if you've missed any of the races this season, you can find them all on our YouTube channel. You can also find a ton of great YouTube shorts, racing, trucking, and a whole lot more. DJ Kenner continuing to reel the leader in. He is 3.7 seconds back. Garmin still holds on to third, but Mark Nelson is right there. And Mark's got a run underneath. They almost touch. Clears the turn and Mark Nelson into third. Mark Dantuma's lead extended that lap. It is now 4.3 seconds. And Mark Nelson is closing in rapidly on DJ. Three laps to go for Dan Tuma. Does he have the fuel? DJ holds on to second. Mark Nelson in third. David Garman in fourth. Jeff Inkle in fifth. Two laps to go for Mark Dantuma, who said he is terrible at this track, started in ninth, 
and is stretched out to a four second lead. Sends it into turns three and four and looks to Barney, sees the white flag one more time around for Mark the Man Dantuma. DJ Kenner gains some ground, but not nearly enough. Dantuma heads off into three and four. The fuel will not matter. He can coast from here to the line. And out of turn four, Dantuma wins at Dover. DJ the Iceman Kenner comes home in second, and the Mark Nelson finishes in third. And let's see if we can talk to our top three, starting with Mark Nelson. Mark, uh, one heck of a run, and how low on fuel are you? Oh, I have plenty. <laughs> I I was saving under the both cautions. I was I was aware what my fuel mileage was. I was good. No issues. Well, before the race, I didn't think anybody'd be able to go the distance there, but obviously you guys proved me wrong. Yeah, somehow or another I find a a lap or two here there and unfortunately it wasn't enough, but at least I didn't have to pit, so that's nice. Well, you managed to have a great run, some great battling with DJ uh, man, and a, a lot of great battling side by side with Jeff. Yeah, I uh, for, on that restart, I got clobbered pretty good, and I think that was hurting my my speed a little bit. But I was fighting as much as I could to try to keep up with those guys. And when their tires started to wear off, I started um, leapfrogging them, you know, because it just you know it, it swung in the other direction. And yeah, I just couldn't get by Jeff without. Uh, muscling him out of the way and Mark just pulled away so um, yeah <laughs> it is what it is well, still a great run another podium congratulations buddy thanks Doug unfortunately it does not look like the Iceman is available but our winner is Mark, I just want to say, you're starting to sound a lot like Richie Joplin. You said during pre-race, you're terrible here. Well, I'm going to let you in on the little secret. and it's I discovered it on about lap four of this race. And that is that you need to go to the dark side and drive a Toyota. <laughs> that is completely inaccurate. If you'd been in a show, you'd have won by three laps. <laughs> I I don't know. I struggled. We ran a practice last night. I hit everything except my marks. Uh, practice today, I basically I've wrecked every wall that you could. And for some reason, or other once the race started, I found a groove and it just took off. Well, you managed to pull up to second in points after Gerald having a rough night, and you're closing the gap on Mark Nelson. Rather quickly, uh, this season's going to get really tight with the points as it winds down. Well, that's what we're hoping, at least uh, make Mark work for it. Uh, he's definitely, those final races down the stretch, he's got the advantage, but uh, I'm going to make him earn it. Well, man, a great job tonight, great run, great win. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, Doug. Mark the man, Dan Tuma, pulls off the win at Dover. Man, what a win it was. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. And we will see you tomorrow night for Jones BS Racing at 9 Eastern. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Have a great night, everybody.